Good morning, good afternoon. Um, decided to switch things up a little bit today. I feel like we're getting a little frustrated with the online assignments. Um, just nature of the beast, I think. We're very picky about sig figs, how many decimal places you put, things like that. Um, so I know that can get frustrating. Thanks for hanging in there. You're doing great. Um, in the weird submitting, like, you know, did it submit, did it not submit? It's been crazy. So we're going to take a little break from that today. So I've come up with this hopefully fun activity for you. Um, if you look on Classroom, under Classwork, you'll find Classwork 3 slash 25 Marty Mole Cookies. <laughs> and there's kind of instructions here for you. Um, technically, this is due at the end of class but you're not going to submit a, a picture of it. You're going to just complete the exit ticket that's posted at the end of class, which will pull in some of these conversions that you're going to be doing. So there are two things here, his original recipe and a student recipe. The original recipe looks like this. Let's scroll to the top. Okay, so Marty Mola has used weird weird units that we wouldn't we aren't used to in the kitchen like 135 grams 7.167 times 10 to the 22 particles 5 milliliters of ginger like weird weird units um because he's mole and he's metric system it's funny okay um your task is to basically convert into units that we would see in the kitchen cups teaspoons, number of eggs, things like that. You're also converting temperatures from Kelvin, which is a science temperature, to Fahrenheit, which is what we are used to here we are used to here in America. Um, and you'll be filling in those conversions here. Okay. So a lot of these conversions up at the top with the ingredients, they will carry into the procedure. Here's copy and pasting from there. Um, and then of course there's the Fahrenheit temperatures that you will also have to convert. And you'll also be converting, I think, it's days into minutes. So that'll be fun. At the bottom of both sheets, you'll see a conversion sheet. This is to help you with those conversions. And I've tried to list them in order of how you will need them. But you may, um, you may find that you have to reuse some of them. Like, I don't know, you might need moles, 6.02, Avogadro's number of particles kind of thing. Uh, so you might use conversions more than once. Um, but that's our activity today, and I say on the thing, like, bonus points if you submit a picture of you baking something with your family. It doesn't have to be these cookies. I didn't actually make this recipe, uh, so I don't know if it's actually a good recipe or not. It's not the recipe I usually use for molasses cookies, but, um, yeah, if you submit yourself a picture of yourself baking with your family or um, something like that, bonus points, because why not? Um, so hopefully this is fun. Hopefully takes a little break from the computer stuff because I understand if you're getting frustrated with all of that. Um, you can print this out or do it on a separate piece of paper. Either way, you don't really need to be like on the computer the whole time, but still be sitting near your Chromebook so that if I make an announcement on GoGuardian, you see it and so that you know like when the um, exit ticket has been posted so you can complete that for some points. Um, message me if you have any questions. Hopefully this works out well for you. Have a good day.